Hey everyone, my name is Michael and today we're doing a quick recap of what's happened over the past week. There was a Bitcoin conference in Miami. Oh man, I wish I could go to that. I had a fantastic time in 2018 and that was the Northern Miami Bitcoin conference or something like that. This time it's Bitcoin 2021. There was a lot of guests and one of them, Floyd Mayweather, is participating in a hundred million dollar fight pretty soon against one of the Paul brothers pretty crazy stuff well he came in and he's no stranger to cryptocurrency he was actually involved in uh, a <laughs> cryptocurrency scandal a few years ago yeah so he was paid for a promo but anyways regardless he mentioned something at a bitcoin conference this is where a lot of bitcoin maximalists went sure there's a lot of crypto conferences but at a bitcoin conference it's a big no-no to start mentioning other altcoin projects because everyone cares only about bitcoin so he got booed off the stage but we also had a u.s politician a libertarian uh present and we're going to be discussing about that but there was a bunch of pretty interesting characters and, and actually a lot of attendees why because in florida if you're watching in europe right now you're probably scratching your head or if you're in california or one of these bluer states you might be a little bit jealous because in florida you don't really have everything's open again you know the pandemic it's kind of forgotten about see you goodbye florida and texas the land of the free so let's discuss there's a lot of news events related Related to the crypto conference but then there's also stuff unrelated and there's been a lot going on in cryptocurrency even though Bitcoin has fallen below $35,000 even though Ethereum has fallen a little bit even though the market is a little rough and there's choppy waters especially for NFTs there's been a little bit of a larger crash there's been a silent crash that's been going on for the past few weeks two three months actually there's been awesome news that's also been mentioned at the crypto conference, such as uh, Bitcoin being considered now legal tender in El Salvador. And that's a great thing. And fortunately, El Salvador is uh, rife with uh, crime and some other stuff that's not too helpful for the country, but they're trying their best. And I wish them all the best and plenty of luck in El Salvador and Venezuela as well, even with hyperinflation, the people are strong, everyone's trying to stick together and work through these tough times. It's going to take a lot of effort, a lot of willpower, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, but uh, Bitcoin is one of these solutions that helps people fight uh, to get out of poverty. You had CEOs such as Jack Dorsey who went to the conference, he announced that one of his companies, Square, is going to be investing into solar-powered Bitcoin mining facilities, and this is now trying to get in with the times to go green and maximize the efficient use of energy for Bitcoin mining consumption. And uh, in terms of the senator who is presenting, former congressman and presidential candidate Ron Paul, he is a libertarian favorite with a lot of the Bitcoin crowd, and that's because a lot of the Bitcoin crowd are libertarians or people who are just a little bit open-minded financially. He is an author of uh, a Bitcoin book and the Fed and he argues that Bitcoin should be and this is what he was talking about at the conference again just rewording everything that Bitcoin should be treated just as money just as normal currency just as fiat is and uh, tax the same and not have some special taxes or whatever and capital gains and all this stuff but that was pretty important having somebody who used to be in the Congress we need more congressmen who are running right now to be able to change regulations because we can't avoid regulation. We need to argue for good regulation for cryptocurrency because with bad regulation, we're going to lose a lot of money. There's a man just playing his piano. Just chilling. Yeah. Welcome to Merca. <laughs> it's huge. I love it. A lot of the news is related to Miami, and one of these reasons is that the Miami-Dade commissioner wanted to turn the county into a Bitcoin hub, and there's been plenty of politicians within Miami that want to turn this into a cryptocurrency city. That's why you have a lot of these conferences, and Miami's always been open-minded to a lot of these things. We had some news related to Elon Musk and Vitalik Buterin. Vitalik Buterin was taking swipes at Cardano. Charles Hoskinson was striking back. Uh, with Elon Musk, some of his actions have 
most likely shown that he likes Bitcoin again, or maybe he doesn't, and he might be promoting other stuff, weird crap coins, who knows, it's probably he's just having fun. There was an FTX deal, $210 million esports, and it's a long-term 10-year contract. If you don't know what FTX is, it's a company that has actually produced one of the world's youngest billionaires, a crypto billionaire at that. Also, Grand Theft Auto 6 is in the news. It might come out next year, maybe, who knows, or two years from now, or whatever. It's taking a while, but uh, supposedly it's a rumor that it might have an in-game version of Bitcoin. Before the Miami conference started, there was a Miami pharmacy that accepted Bitcoin for COVID testing. Ah, forgot about this one. Yes, Anonymous has posted a video threat saying that uh, Musk's crypto tweets have destroyed lives and they're going to reveal the truth. We'll see what that is going to be. Uh, Polygon's Matic has gone up. It ended May up 120%. The Texas governor signs a law into action creating legal framework for cryptocurrency investments. I'm telling you, man, Texas and Florida are the places to be. China has launched earlier in the week a copyright protection plaque chain. And one of the last pieces of news is that we have big companies such as Alibaba and Google are among more than 300 companies seeking a Singapore cryptocurrency license. Why? Because they want to get into crypto. They want a sweet slice of that crypto pie. Thanks so much for watching today's video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and see you guys in the next one. We have to resolve the internet this week, so hopefully we're going to be able to make longer videos pretty soon. Got to get myself a mobile router and figure out a network that we're going to be able to get hotspots from because T-Mobile sucks. So, wish me luck. Have a great rest of your day, and bye!